This is the Magic Force 68, a keyboard I bought several years ago from Drop.com. It features a distinct 68 key layout, aluminum plate, a detachable micro USB, and a small degree of tilt. I had never owned a blue switch keyboard and I felt that this keyboard would be a good platform to mod later. Being several years later, the consumer scene for keyboards has changed and this keyboard is now lacking in several features that make it outdated and overpriced. So now's the time for me to mod it. I decided to put in some Gatoron Browns. It was a little annoying to have to remove the rubber pads in order to open the keyboard. I removed all of the old blue switches and lubed up some Gatoron Browns. I installed them pretty easily, and after soldering them back into place, I clipped the stabilizers and band-aid modded the PCB. Instead of a foam mod, I placed some silicone in between the ridges of the case and then placed a thin layer of foam on the top. It was after this point I felt really great about the keyboard and I admittedly should have left it, but I did find that this board supported LEDs and decided to add some and hotwire them. I didn't have the correct kind of resistors, but soldered them on anyway, and ended up breaking my board after a couple days with a botched repair. What I learned was, don't cut corners with getting the right components, and don't let being in a rush make your decisions related to how you mod your keyboard. Do it the right way. Take a listen to the sound test of before and after. This board looked great with the Taihao PBT set and green LEDs. If you'd like me to try this again the right way, please hit that like button, comment your thoughts, and hit that subscribe button for more.